Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com New Windows 11 build to look at This is 22489 for Windows Insider on the dev channel Not a huge amount of changes with this build once again But I can uh, talk and show you some of the things that are in the build And some known issues Actually the, the first thing that's in this build I actually can't show you because Microsoft have only rolled it out to a small set of Windows Insiders I can show you the screenshot here from the blog so as you can see here, it shows things like your Microsoft 365 uh, subscription and your OneDrive settings and links to your Bing rewards and so on. So at the moment it's only going out to a small set of insiders, so hopefully that will go out to more insiders soon and uh, we can give that a test. It's very similar if you go to the account.microsoft.com, you can see some of your details in there, but it's handy to have it there in Windows. It does some work in the background on encrypted DNS. But I won't go too much in the details on that. Um, and they're splitting up apps and features into installed apps and app settings. So let's have a look at that. So here you can see instead of the apps and features, we've got installed apps and advanced app settings. So they just split those up that way. Uh, the rest of the changes are just fixes, to be honest. There's um, fixes with app icons on the secondary monitors. They fix some windowing issues uh, and task view. They fix some issues with settings and um, quick Wi-Fi settings that you get to down here were sort of flying out incorrectly. There are some known issues. One I can show you. Um, when you go to Windows Update, you get this uh, screen now instead of the... The, the next screen which I'll show you Microsoft say it's a bug actually so it shouldn't say recovering for developers it should go directly into this screen so for checking for updates you're going to have to do that extra check but that's just they said they're going to fix that in in a future build and uh, there's still usual issues actually like uh, the not being able to search from the start menu you can do Windows R to launch the run dialog box um, but that's it really with this build there's not a huge amount of changes um, the account settings idea I like, but I can't uh, show you that. Um, over on the beach channel, you have got the ability to run Android apps, which uh, is really interesting, but uh, not on this channel. And this device this is a Surface Go, uh, to, original Surface Go, which I don't think will run it, but uh, Surface Laptop 2 runs Android apps fine. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on thislifestyle.com. When Microsoft brings more features, I can show you more features, and I'll see you on the next one.